नमस्ते ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल सोल्स आई रूपा खनाल वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइट तारा टैर रीडिंग एंड टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस सम ब्यूटिफुल मेमोरीज फ्रॉम आवर पास डियर ब्यूटिफुल सोल्स फ्रॉम आवर चाइल्डहुड यस चाइल्डहुड इज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल टाइम ऑफ एनी वंस लाइफ राइट you can take the evidence of the surveys or when you talk to people around like if a chance is given to them if they get an opportunity to go back into past or into future or which time of their life would they want to relive most of the time the answer is the childhood because the innocence the beauty the godliness the heavenly smile you know the mercy towards everything the most sensitive time anybody could collect the memories with right and when we meet our childhood buddies we can talk for like hours and hours and hours and hours right so we must have not met our classmates or friends from our neighborhood uh in our childhood but we still remember each and every moment which we have shared with them as fresh as just a recent event right we remember each dialogue and when we get back into the memories of childhood the time will lapse it will move like in a slow motion and you we cherish each and every second of our childhood memories so there are definitely some childhood memories connected which we in the run of making a career and responsibility and family we don't get time to Uh, get back cherish into the memories of the childhood but it is always good to collect have a collection of memories from the past good memories and that you can definitely get from your childhood beautiful souls so today's speaker card reading is all about the good memories which you cherish from your childhood right what are the best memories or best album of memories which you can uh bring into your present life and it is also important to have the collection of good memories from your past because generally the memories from the past are painful but childhood memories are not so even there are not so good moments in childhood definitely the good moments are more comparatively right and one more thing we need to understand through this pick a card reading is that no matter how successful you are how rich you are how well uh designated you are what is your position in the society at present your conscious mind is deeply connected with your childhood right the kind of upbringing you had the conditioning uh the parental guidance the mentoring you know everything what you are today is all the reflection of your childhood dear beautiful souls so if you don't make your inner child happy if you don't connect to your inner child then your inner child will never let you uh be happy you know be comfortable it will always prick you for all the things which it desired as a child and it never got so it is your responsibility to always get connected with your inner child be playful with your inner child and if you want to know more about how to get connected with your inner child you can watch my reading uh, about uh, the inner child guidance right i'm going to put uh, the descript uh, the link in the description box so if you're interested you can watch that reading also and today i'm going to use the archangel gabriel deck because archangel is the head of the department of children's 
angels, you know, all the angels reports to guardian angel Gabriel, right? So with the blessings of all the deities and the superpowers from the higher dimension, from the universe and the cosmos and the guardian angel of children, let us dive into the memories of our childhood beautiful souls. So next is the time for the pile selection. Beautiful souls, these are the three piles, pile 1, pile 2 and pile 3 and on each pile I have put some seashells, the brown one, the spotted one and the white one. Pile 1, the brown seashell, pile 2, the spotted seashell and pile 3, the white seashell. So whichever seashell you're attracted to or the pile you're attracted to, the images on the pile, it could be the time sections which I'm going to pin in the description box. Whatever attracts you at the first sight is your pick a card reading. So don't uh, confuse yourself. Keep it simple because the tarot cards themselves are so much aligned that they are going to guide you to choose your correct pile and there is no right or wrong way to choose a pile, dear beautiful souls. So let us see what are the beautiful memories which we still cherish, still get mesmerized with from our childhood. So let us begin today's speaker card reading with the beautiful souls. Those who have chosen the brown seashell to see, to revise, to recap the beautiful, beautiful memories from their childhood, their favorite memories from your childhood. And each picture will show you or help you collect the whole moment, beautiful souls. The first card is the creative expression, right? So that is the memory followed by gratitude and express your inner truth. Then comes the sensitivity, daily practice and the last card is the perfectionism. So these are the memories of the beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile one. I think I need to put the other two cards also here because uh, it is not shown in the camera. Now everything is clear I believe. So let me shift this card a little more here beautiful souls so you can look at the pictures and grab the memories favorite memories from your childhood so this is the first memory and this says God's divine creative creativity is expressed through your actions so this looks to me like a play uh, a dance on stage, it could be an annual day or it could be a parents teachers meet. You were dancing happily with your buddy, with your friend, wearing those fancy dress. It could be a fancy dress competition. Look at the curtains, look at the stage, look at the innocence and the happiness and the energy the children are expressing in this picture so this could be it this is one of your favorite childhood memories that you uh, where you had participated in a dance a play uh, you could be uh, in the role of a princess or a prince right so this is one of your childhood memories and you are a very creative person since your childhood and there is divine blessing of God on you so that you can express your creativity through your actions. So as a child you were able to express all your creative work through your actions so you have been a very energetic child. So this is one of the favorite memories from your childhood, creative expression. Okay, and the next card is the gratitude, beautiful souls. 
you attract more blessing when you appreciate your current blessings right so it could be stories of angels right so you were a very very grounded as a child you were not a demanding child right and you had gratitude for everything around you you got connected instantly to every thing and every people and every situation and you were a child with great gratitude so this is the picture where the angel is knocking at the doors so you might have this innocent belief that angels will come for your rescue or you could have strongly believed in the story of the santa claus right coming with gifts on christmas and new years so you were a child with great gratitude and there are definitely stories of yours connecting you with showing how grounded you were as a child so this is the next favorite the second favorite memory from your childhood beautiful souls the stories the fairy tales the strong beliefs on magical things right and the next card or the next memory is express your inner truth your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts so this is something connected with music something connected with dance so you are uh, were really happy some memories connecting you with singing dancing or playing instruments where the very where the are the beautiful memories from your childhood uh when you were into creative work you were at your best you know you in the group of children you were the one who was the brightest you know who whose shine was completely different from the other uh, children right because you enjoyed the singing the dancing the instruments the music so much that you took over the stage right and this is the time the present life where you are living as an adult you could be in your 20s 30s 40s but this card is also trying to convey that you have left that child somewhere back in the time lapse right and now you don't at all get connected yourself with music dance uh, or the picture the memory which is shown in this card so this card is also trying you to tell that this is the time you accept that you really enjoyed singing dancing playing the instruments you know uh, getting into the creative work right okay so this way you can definitely connect with your inner child beautiful souls express your inner truth okay when someone ask you what kind of child you were so you should be able to say that i was like an absolutely creative child with lot of exuberant energies i enjoyed singing dancing and uh, doing plays you know and i believe in the most stupid things what practical people call the most stupid things and the most um idiotic things as a child i strongly believed in so many magical things but na nah, nothing came alive in front of me but my inner child my inner innocence still believe in all those things so you should be ready to accept what kind of child you were and maybe bringing out your inner child on and off will definitely bring a lot of what is the word relaxation a lot of fun in your life beautiful souls the next favorite memory is sensitivity your sensitive feelings are 
your muse and inspiration for your creative, right? So your creativity comes from your sensitivity. You were a very sensitive child and this could be, this picture could be in uh, uh, a moment where you, uh, you, where you were, when you were in the church because the ambience looks to me like a church or a holy place and you're talking to the, the, the mother, the mentor or the father. So you loved going to church, you loved going to holy places and this is the picture, a favorite picture, a favorite memory from your childhood, you spending time in the church and holy places and your, your creativity, uh, your sensitivity is the source of your creativity and definitely that was inspiration for many people. People really got inspired looking at your creativity, beautiful souls as a child and you loved going to church going to holy places and maybe you were showing or doing something for uh, to recreate that place or to uh, decorate that place or to uh, add something to that place okay so that is the fourth favorite beautiful childhood memory of the beautiful souls those are chosen pile one next card is the daily practice so this card is an indication that you are a creative child, you were a creative child. I don't know how you are as an adult, but definitely you were a very creative child and uh, your creativity was a part of your daily routine. So this, uh, the, the girl, the lady in the picture is painting. So maybe you loved drawing, you loved painting, you loved uh, playing with colors, right? filling the uh, pictures with colors and you did it every day. Like you do your assignments, you do your homework, you did some kind of creative work every day as a child and you loved it the most and you were very much comfortable when you were practicing that and that gave you confidence, right beautiful souls? So a daily practice as a child, it could be of painting, it could be of playing an instrument, dancing, or it could be some play or writing poetry, but the picture shows painting, so something artistic. You were practicing every day as a child, and this is one of your beautiful and favorite childhood memories. And the last card, the last memory is the perfectionism, beautiful souls. And polishing your creative project is fine, but don't allow perfectionist fear to result in procrastination, right? So this is your perception of your childhood that you lived a perfect childhood, you know. You believed in every stupid thing. You did spend time, you know, spilling out colors and playing instruments, buying instruments, dancing and singing and listening to fairy tales and uh, going to church, spending hours in church and uh, you were a very creative child, you were the most brightest of the children and your perception is you lived a perfect childhood and now you think that if you reveal or if you share the incidents of your childhood with people, then people might have a different impression about you and you fear, you know, as, a, as you grow up, as you move into adolescence, as you move into your youth, you leave behind your childhood and sometimes you become skeptical to share the memories which you cherish which you cherished thoroughly as a child because you are uh, fearful of people are putting their opinions, you know, like you look, you are so sensible now, so gentle and so um, smart now, but uh, you, as a child, you were really stupid. So you are afraid of what people will uh, have an opinion if you share 
your childhood memories with them and though you have these memories very clearly in your uh, mind in your consciousness you always keep denying that i'm not interested in music i'm not interested in arts i don't believe in fairy tales and uh, um i don't remember whether i have enacted in a play or in a dance you know so your inner child is not really well connected with you because it's not like you don't remember things you remember things but you are not trying to bring them to the people to share them to the people or share them with your childhood friends when they say like do you remember this event and you remember it clearly but you say oh i don't remember and i don't think i was like so stupid as a child you know the the innocence of the child is in his stupidity in his um in her stupidity you know because it's a it's a clear heart right it's a, it's 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 a divinely heart and everything what you put into a child's mind they believe it absolutely without any doubt right so that is the thing which makes the childhood memories most beautiful so these are some of your favorite childhood memories beautiful souls there must be many many more moments which you remember which you cherish from your childhood but don't be uh, skeptical or don't be doubtful to accept that you were an innocent soul as a child there is an innocent soul inside you so get connected with your child time for the beautiful souls those have chosen pile 2 to get back to get a dive into the beautiful memories favorite memories from your childhood beautiful souls with the spotted seashell the first memory is let go the beautiful pictures will connect you with the memories law of attraction wow that's really wonderful divine guidance good writers group nurture yourself and the last card we have is new project so these are some beautiful beautiful and favorite pictures and moments from your childhood beautiful souls let go so when i look at all the cards in the pile the first card is let go and what my intuitions are trying to convey is that you were a very sensible child probably you have been brought up in a very orthodox kind of family with strong moral values high moral values so even as a child you were not stubborn you were not manipulative you were not uh you were different from other children you had this quality of forgiveness from your childhood and this could be only because of the kind of upbringing right so you have this forgiving nature though you know that this person is responsible for the bad thing happened to you or to someone around you you were always ready to forgive them right you never kept any kind of negative emotions inside you right you were able to release the negative things you were able to bring out the denser energies and release them even as a child so that is really worth accolading right so release the desire to control this situation and leave it up to god's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautiful and this quality of yours makes you a beautiful soul you are a sensible you were a sensible child and you have this quality of releasing things which you don't need or the things which you felt could bring negative energies inside you 
right? So there is a woman here. So it could be uh, your friend. It could be a family member. She did something really uh, not good. And you were the witness. You could have exposed her. You could have uh, told everybody that she is not a kind woman, a kind lady, a kind girl. She is a bad girl, but you chose to forgive her. You chose to give her a next chance. So that is the uh, story behind this picture, what uh, my intuitions are trying to convey. And this could be the backyard of your house or of uh, the uh, ground of your school. Okay, so this uh, memory is connected with your school or your house right beautiful soul so you had you are a very you were a very sensible child and you have this quality of forgiving people so matured even as a child right and next is law of attraction you are really blessed you are an old soul for sure and keep your thoughts positive, surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. So you chose to be around with positive people even as a child so that you can bring and attract more of positivity. So the law of attraction is always blessing you even as a child and you could differentiate or you could connect instantly to the energies of the people and the things and you always chose to be uh, with the positive things and positive people so that you can attract more of the positivity in your life, right? So that is about the favorite childhood memory. Again, there is um, there are fairies in the picture, right? And they are trying to tell people or trying to tell other children you were trying to help out other children. Like if they are into some getting into getting involved in some bad activities, you were trying to stop them. So this is something a moment which where you are stopping somebody to to go uh, to follow a wrong path or somebody who has been misguided. You are uh, warning them or you are trying to bring them back and you are trying to bring the positivity into their life you're stopping your friends you're stopping someone from getting into the wrong path right because you are always in the right path so you want everybody to be in the right path right even as a child you were like so sorted so definitely you are an old soul beautiful souls this is one of the favorite memories from your childhood and the next card is the divine guidance the ideas you are receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers so as a child you were a very keen seeker and this could be your grandmother your mother or it could be your teacher and when i uh, it could be someone from your family because the picture the background is that of a bedroom or of a house. So this is definitely uh, your mother or your grandmother or your mentor. Uh, and you were a very keen seeker as a child. And this is one of your favorite uh, memories where you were uh, asking questions. You know, your mind was filled with so many questions as a child and you are trying to receive the answers right and maybe you got the answers because the card is saying that answers were heaven sent and maybe you are someone who strongly believed in offering prayers to whichever source you believe so this is a very strong divine connection of the beautiful souls as a child you are blessed with divine guidance so uh, even as a child you had so many questions in your mind so many queries and you got the answers when you were into prayer right when you were into offering prayers it could be it could be you could be it could be of any religion you know you can you could have connected 
to any religion. You could be a Christian, a Muslim, a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Jain, uh, you know, any religion. So you were guided directly from the heaven even as a child and you could feel that right so this is one of your favorite childhood memories a red bed is shown here a chandelier right a couch okay a door and there are behind there's a village okay and you like every child, you also believed in the stories of the fairies, right? So next beautiful memory to cherish is writer's group. Create or join a writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship and support. Okay, so what all things you felt, what all things you had in your mind, the questions, the queries, you were putting it on note you were writing a diary regularly and maybe every day you were writing the diary and you were also inspiring your friends and other classmates you used to share to them like you know I write a diary every day I write what all emotions and feelings and events good and bad everything which I go through into a diary and it gives me great sense of uh, what is the word I feel good so I write diary I feel good and you used to inspire your friends also to write diaries maybe uh, you used to buy some beautiful diaries and you used to tell them from where you bought it, how much it costed and uh, what is the fun behind writing a diary and maybe you have that habit of writing diary even today and uh, you are a very uh, person who, who, who executes things through proper planning right because you have this habit of writing since your childhood so writing diaries putting your uh, feelings and emotions and questions on notebook was one of your favorite childhood memories beautiful souls so this is the picture which connects you to that moment right and the next beautiful memory is nurture yourself Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later, right? So this could mean that you are someone, I told you, you are blessed with divine guidance. So you are someone who loves yourself, who nurtures yourself, who pampers yourself. So every now and then uh, as a child, you had time for yourself where you need nobody else and you were talking to yourself you were uh, questioning yourself then you were receiving answers from yourself so you really nurture yourself as a child and you are a old soul again i'm repeating you are an old soul because uh having this kind of sensibility this kind of maturity and this kind of uh, decision making and this kind of um, empathic nature as a child gives me a strong intuition that you are an old soul here and it is one of the best qualities to get into self-care to get into loving yourself which you were doing even as a child so this is your favorite childhood memory again uh, we can see some books here so you are reading and you are like at peace at look at the expression of the 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 lady in the picture she is like absolutely uh, the divine light on her face so you really enjoyed spending time with books reading books and then writing your uh, experiences, then spending time with yourself. So this is one of the favorite childhood memories of the beautiful souls of the chosen pile too. This is the last actions are growing your idea into reality. So you were always 
actively participating in all kinds of new projects. It could be a school assignment. It could be a science project. It could be uh, like you're going out for a vacation, for a picnic, for so a new thing, you know, a new idea always brought that spark inside you. Like, okay, so like a newborn baby, your actions are growing your idea into reality. And as a child, it surprised you that what you think in your mind and what you plan for, everything was sorted, everything was smoothly uh, getting into reality, you know, turning into reality. So uh, as a child, you had this perception like, am I an uh, like uh, something magical is happening because you were not very uh, mature. I mean, not like a adult mind. You were a child. You, you were an innocent child. And when big, big things, like really big things, which you uh, felt you will do and when you could do it when you could achieve it easily it surprised you and you felt that some angels are around you and some angels are helping you is not it is not done by you or somebody else is helping you there are helping hands around you so that was your belief as a child that all your actions were turning into reality and it could be you could be experiencing the same now. So beautiful souls, those have chosen pile two. You really had very, very beautiful and divine memories connected with your childhood. So I'm sensing that you are highly religious, highly spiritual. And what memories you hold as a child, you remember as a child, the same memories have built you build your present and maybe you are into helping out people uh, into guiding them how to forgive you know how to come out of the negative emotions how to follow the law of attraction uh, your divine guidance you are seeking answers right you are putting all your uh, feelings and emotions into your writings and you're helping out people to uh, manifest what they desire through writing that is also possible so you are you love yourself the most and you are always ready for uh, taking up a new project so these are the childhood memories which you connect very well and even in your presence so with that we come to an end with the pile two beautiful souls the beautiful, divine, blessed memories. So time to plunge into the beautiful memories, favorite memories of the beautiful souls. Those who have chosen pile three, the childhood memories, right? So there are pictures which will connect you to the moments of your favorite childhood memories. The first card is editor, okay? So two young boys in the picture, followed by happy news. The next memory is have confidence in your creations. Next is stay true to yourself. Agent or manager. Ask for what you want and allow yourself to receive. So these are the memories of the beautiful souls as a child, the beautiful favorite memories, okay? So there could be more memories, much more memories, but uh, for now, these are the best or the chosen one. Maybe they are, uh, you remember them or after, we get into reading you will uh, be able to recap those memories and these memories are coming to you for some reason because there is reason behind everything generally the past memories are painful but the childhood memories are the most beautiful beautiful souls uh, there could also be some not so good memories but comparatively 
all the good memories from the past if you recollect are from your childhood so the editor i'm feeling the beautiful souls those have chosen pile three are men boys the gentleman look at the dress up of these two boys and one of them is uh, typing something into a typewriter and another is peeping so uh, the peeping one could be you right so it could be a memory related with a typewriter it could be a memory related with a camera or a, a camera right a printed uh, an instant printing camera kind of uh, cameras which i see in the hollywood hollywood movies so you're writing or other creative project benefits from outside help and support so you were you loved to operate a typewriter or you learned how to operate a typewriter or you wanted to uh, write some things or you did some projects related to typewriting right and which had really benefited you right and uh, people came into your support your friends came into your support maybe you didn't knew how to uh, operate the typewriter right or a computer if you are a kid of uh, the the techno generation it could be a computer it could be a laptop right so something a project which you did in a typewriter or a laptop or a computer and it uh, brought you a lot of benefit uh, maybe a lot of appreciation, a reward, a gift, right? And you got uh, resourced for this. You got a help from a friend or a teacher, right? So, and you were a winner. So this is the first childhood memory. And you were, uh, you got a, a designation in your school, maybe the head boy, because the editor is uh, written on the card so you were the leader of the group or the leader of the project okay and this is one of your favorite childhood memories followed by a happy news here an oracle or an angel holding a, a wand is uh, saying bringing the happy news your prayer is answered in creative way right so as a child you have a strong belief in the god or in the supreme force something magical uh, force it could be angels it could be god it could be um, anything whichever source you believe very strongly as a child and whatever questions you had whenever you were not happy with your life you were you had wishes you had prayers and you felt that an angel is answering your prayer an angel has answered your prayers the god has come to you uh, and directly he's answering all your wishes all your complaints right and you were very happy like he brought the angels brought always the happy news for you it could be some signals it could be some numbers but whenever you wanted to connect yourself with the uh, higher forces gods or angels you were always able to connect so this is one of your favorite childhood memories you got all your answers and you felt that the angels the gods always bring you happy news right so this is a lovely memory to be cherished the next card is have confidence in your creations trust in the power of god's creativity which is being manifested through you so you were able to because i see a cat here and i see a, a woman uh, i don't know what is she trying to do she is holding something so this could be one of your favorite childhood memory this looks like a house so you were uh, it's a cat yes it is a cat so you were uh, feeding cats Maybe you, are, you were uh, bringing milk for the cats or you were bringing some um, pieces of meat or flesh for the cats. So this memory has to do something with cats, right? And have confidence in your creations. So as a child, when you were helping out the pets, the cat is shown in the picture, but you could be helping dogs or other pets. 
when you were helping them, when you were taking food for them, or when you were trying to uh, make shelter for them, you were not confident. Okay, you were not confident, but you still have this trust that you are doing something good and you will be helped by the God, right? Maybe you did help the cats or the pets uh, secretively without the knowledge of your parents or your teachers, right? So there, the story, you know the story better, but have confidence in your creations. As a child, uh, you did try to create it something, but you, have, uh, you were not confident child. You were uh, like a fearful, a skeptical, uh, you know, like if somebody comes to know what I have done, then I will be punished. Okay, you were a secretive child and you did good things, but in the lack of confidence and secretively, right? And you were happy because you were doing good things. You knew even as a child that what you're doing is good and God will help you. You had trusted the power of the God's creativity and you believe that all animals are the creativity of the God. Everything in this world is the creativity of God. So everybody needs food, everybody needs shelter. And when people didn't care about the pets or the cats, as shown in the picture, you were the one who came to the rescue, right? So that is really a secretive childhood. I am getting the strong intuition, beautiful souls. So this could be your mother who is trying to chase off the cat which you brought in secretively so next is the stay true to yourself so this could be your mother or your father or a guardian who is uh, warning you who is uh, who is uh, counseling you you know don't compromise or water down your ideas listen to trust and follow your inner voice Right, so it, it could be your mother who's scolding you for you being secretive and hiding things and telling that whatever you do, you should be uh, informing me or you should be taking permission from me. So this is a regular uh, childhood memory. I think the beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile three will connect you being scolded or warned by your parent, especially your mother for not being true or for hiding things right so she she always told you this could be the meaning of her uh, whole counseling that stay true true to yourself don't lie to me right you always lie to me i don't like okay stay true to yourself is the favorite childhood memory of the beautiful souls and the next memory is agent or manager your work expands is its reach as your partner, as you partner with a professional who can help you. Your work expands its reach as you partner with a professional who can help. So maybe you were taking help of some adult uh, so that you can complete all your tasks, right? It could be a teacher, it could be a fr it could be a senior, it could be some professional, it could be someone who was. Uh, sheltering the pets or someone who is giving feeding the pets so somebody helps you to complete your task as a child this is one of your favorite memories a help coming from um, a senior an adult an elderly sister it could be uh, because a woman is shown here with a red she's wearing a red uh, clothes so for you this person was an angel because she or he they have helped you to complete your uh, tasks, you know, so that you could help out more people. This is someone, this is someone professional, okay, a professional, it could be a teacher, I'm, I'm getting the word, the image of a teacher again and again, so your teacher helped you a lot, uh, she understood, or your teacher, he understood you a lot, and he or she have helped you as a partner so that you can expand your uh, benevolent deeds you know to reach out the creative creativity of the god okay and the next card is ask for what you want okay clear communication with yourself with god and with other helps you avoid misunderstanding and speeds up the process of answered prayers so you were a very loud child, you were a very demanding child and you could clearly communicate 
with yourself, with God, and with your parents. The others could be your parents, your teachers, uh, the neighbors. And when they said that what you're doing is wrong, you were able to convince them that uh, what you're doing is right. And if they think what you're doing is wrong, that they are just misunderstanding you. They are not understanding the situations and what all what you wanted to do as a child you did it very loudly very thoroughly very perfectly and very fast right and because you thought you were being guided and you were being guided because all your prayers were answered so this is a repeat and you got the answers through your prayers as a child so you were very clear that what you were doing is right and that is why you were able to convince everybody able to communicate put your opinions because you were very sure that this is what god wants you to do maybe you have used uh, asked me to do this because this is right right and you were like uh, standing on the top of your roof and blowing out the trumpets taking a big mic and saying hello 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 i did this today because i felt this was the right thing to be done and i was asked by the angels by the god to do this and because i did this there are so many uh, pets so many animals the uh, creativity of the earth are happy and they are uh, they are they are saying me thank you you know so you are uh, you were a very confident child right so despite of all the punishments you got, despite of all the warnings you got, you never, nothing could stop you from doing and helping out uh, animals, especially animals or it could be even your friends. So you were always up to the rescue like a superman, like a super hero. Okay, so that is about ask for what you want. You asked for what you want and you got it all the time through the divine answers from the God, the angel, whichever source you believe. Allow yourself to receive, open your arms or to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. So this uh, is been repeated thrice, beautiful souls. Okay, so you get, you are very receptive. Even as a child, you are very receptive. You got a clear yes or no and then you stepped ahead okay so this card is also saying that you were ready you are in a receptive position because uh, here you are searching for something uh, you're searching for something and whatever you search for you received it through divine blessing so you are a very receptive child you could connect easily to the signals and you could get the answers for all the questions so before you start anything in your life even now it could it is possible that first you uh, wait ask the question then wait for the signals and you receive it then you continue with what you have to do and then you are successful so this is a habit since the childhood so these are the lovely lovely memories for the beautiful souls those have chosen pile three so you could be an editor of a newspaper or a magazine or something you are into the editorial uh, uh, editorial what we call uh, committee right and you always receive uh, answers from the divine and you are very confident you were very confident and you are very confident now also and uh, for uh, the all the new ideas which you put you were always been warned punished and you were been stopped but when you are convinced that what you're doing is right you always did it because you felt that some there are helping hands behind you and that they are your teacher your angels your gods the, the supreme forces which you believe and you always take permission from the universe from the divine before you start with something important something new and you always are successful and when you are successful you just uh, share it with everybody loudly and whatever you want to receive you received it as a child and you still are receiving are still receptive 
right? So that is really lovely, lovely reading with the beautiful souls. Those are chosen pile three. So with that, we come to an end, beautiful souls. And I've told you again, it is very important to get connected with the inner child, to bring the child of child who is inside you out uh, at times, you know, not all the times because that is not possible. But whenever you have time, you have to get uh, involved with children in your family, in your neighborhood. It, if you're a teacher, you're always surrounded by children. You are blessed. The most benevolent profession on earth is to be a teacher and beautiful souls always get connected with the inner child inside you. And I'm putting the reading for the inner child guided uh, guidance through the angels. I'm putting the link in the description box. Please watch that video also and you can probably get instant connection with the inner child and may be able to give and receive in a two-way transaction like to make your life smooth and happier all the time right so why not be in the phase which is the most beautiful why to get stressed out with the worldly entanglements why can't we live like a child why can't we have that divine innocence of a child throughout our lives so beautiful souls if you haven't subscribed my channel i request you to please subscribe it share it like it comment it so that i will be uh, encouraged to make more such videos tell me on what topics you want me to make uh, on what topics you want me to do reading so I'll be really obliged privileged and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for the appreciation and the support and keep watching my videos until next time take good care of yourself be playful as a child astu and namaste